Mississippi, Republican Senator Cindy Hyde-Smith. She is seen in this video, posted to Twitter, uh, praising a cattle rancher and thanking him for his support. Wow. Hyde-Smith is still fighting for her Senate seat, and it's worth mentioning her opponent is an African-American. She is facing former Democratic Congressman Mike Espy in a runoff uh, election on November 27th because neither received 50 percent of the vote. Well, Hyde-Smith responded... Uh, responded with outrage over her remark in a statement saying this. She said, in a comment on November 2nd, I referred to accepting an invitation to a uh, speaking engagement in referencing the one who invited me. I used an exaggerated expression of regard and, and any attempt to turn this into a negative connotation is ridiculous. But today, at a news conference with Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant, reporters asked questions about the comment and I just want you to hear how it all went down. We put out a statement yesterday, and we stand by that statement. Could you expand on it then, why you said it, what you meant by it, and why people in the state should not see it as offensive? We put out the statement yesterday, and it's available, and we stand by that statement. Is this very familiar with Mississippi's history of lynchings? I put out a statement yesterday, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Governor you Bill mentioned Bryant. that there shouldn't be, it shouldn't be viewed with a negative connotation. Could you at, at least explain I how it could be yesterday, positive? and we stand by the statement, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Is that phrasing Governor, in your everyday lingo, in your vocabulary? Do you I put out a statement yesterday. Governor, you stand you're by appointed the her as a United States Senator. You have a huge black population that are looking for answers on why she used that kind of language. And you have worked to try to uh, uh, make it known that Mississippi no longer has that pattern. Mm -hmm. When you're hearing her say, I put out a statement yesterday, and that's all I have to say. I, I think she what is, uh, she's certainly addressing uh, the fact that she has put out a statement. I can tell you, all of us in public life have said things on occasion that we could have phrased better. When you make as many speeches as we do in public life, that does occur. But I know this woman and I know her heart. I knew it when I appointed her and know it now. She meant no offense by that statement. There was nothing in her heart of ill will. Uh, now, in a political campaign, people can make anything you say what they want it to say. They can spit it. They can go on social media and accuse you of all sorts of things. Governor, she feels certain that, um, I, I believe I won't speak for her, but that her statement spoke to it. Um, absolutely, we have been sensitive um, to race relations in this state. I brought the President of the United States here to open the Civil Rights Museum. And African American leadership that would fail to even come to the event because the President of the United States was there. Today I talked about the genocide of over 20 million African American children. You see, in my heart, I am confused about where the outrage is at about 20 million African American children that have been aborted. No one wants to say anything about that. No one wants to talk about that. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Smith. Oh, you want to make jokes about lynching, right? What public hanging are you going to talk about? Your statement? Who gives a heck? Who gives a fuck? Who gives a damn about you repeating yourself that you made a statement yesterday? Explain yourself, you freaking idiot. It's funny how these people think they could just like say whatever they want and not be called out on it. No, we want to know what public hanging were you referring to? Mississippi, where so many of my people died. And you want to make a joke about public hanging? Maybe I don't think it was a joke, to be honest. Then you have your little spokesman with your hand up his ass. Had the nerve to talk about black babies and abortions. A lot of you conservative, not all, like, like the conservatives like Mr. Research won't do this. But these stupid idiots that are like freaking white supremacists or shills for white supremacy will always use the, the abortion deflection. Talking about ba black babies being killed. You aren't concerned about a lot of the black lives that have been being, that have been killed, not only through abortion, but also through public hangings for the longest in Mississippi. And probably still are. 
please, I don't want to hear your dumb deflection. I'm pro-life and I already see through that one. I don't support abortion. Because your white supremacist ancestors like Margaret Sanger actually established that for eugenics. But I see through that little deflection, trying to get away from the subject. No, what the hell did she say that for? Take responsibility. You always accuse black people of not taking responsibility. Take responsibility to your, for your words. Yeah, Hyde Smith is the best name for you because you talk out of your ass. Not only that, you are Mr. Hyde. There is Dr. Jekyll, that public face. You see her little public sort of old want to be innocent looking face, but no, she's a freaking mad, crazy ass person or monster behind it. That's who Mr. Hyde is. Your last name suits you well because it's the last thing that anyone should think of you as. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Cindy Hyde Smith. I don't care if I said your name wrong. Public hanging my ass. Who the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? And who are you referring to? I don't care if it's a slip of a tongue. I don't care if you thought it was a joke. We're calling you out on that. We want answers. You're going to live in infamy and I hope you lose. You freaking feral bitch, nasty ass, like, hating, ooh, I gotta quit. I'm gonna quit doing this video because I'm gonna curse.